Okay, thanks for the introduction. Yeah, my name is Paul Champlain. I run a company called Landlord Action. Uh, we set up in uh, 1999 to help landlords with problem tenants. To date, we've done over 15,000 evictions for landlords up and down the country uh, on behalf of landlords. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about my company later on. Uh, my background is legal. I, um, I used to work for a couple of law firms many moons ago when I left school. Uh, and I actually worked in the last recession in, uh, in 1980-89. And I was the guy, I wasn't that popular, going to court getting the possession orders on behalf of all the banks and building societies. And of course, that time, uh, we were, that, that, was, that was the last recession that we had in this country. And of course, the interest rates were 15, 16%. I remember the busiest day that I did uh, at a court in Brighton, I did 22 hearings in one morning once for uh, the building societies, uh, for the solicitors I used to work for. After working for a couple of law firms, I became a little bit bored and I changed uh, my profession. I became a certified bailiff, private investigator, tracing agent and a process server. Uh, and I'd also always dealt with landlord and tenant evictions on behalf of landlords. As a certified bailiff, which I'm not now, but we do offer a uh, commercial uh, bailiffing department on behalf of landlords, is I was the guy going around on behalf of landlords, going to shops, uh, commercial premises, uh, and foreclosing, changing the locks, or trying to seize goods to the value of what the rent was at outstanding. Uh, I also used to collect, and again, I wasn't very popular, I was going around uh, trying to collect VAT debts on behalf of the customs and excise. Uh, and as a private investigator, I used to do a lot of corporate and uh, individual investigations on behalf of clients into debtors, people own people money, did some criminal investigations, did a lot of tracing as well on behalf of uh, clients, trying to trace people that were own people money, of which we offer that service as well at Landlord Action. Uh, as a process server, I, used to, I was the guy knocking on the door, having to hand deliver divorce petitions, writs. Uh, I think that the strangest story that I can uh, remember was uh, I went to Egypt once with 24 hours notice uh, on behalf of a client, I had to serve uh, a writ on a chief executive of a bank in Cairo for nine million US dollars. Now, to try and find a chief executive of a bank nowadays is obviously near enough impossible, uh, but I managed to actually, uh, through an interpreter, arrange for an appointment short notice to see this, uh, this bank manager in Cairo. And I went, obviously, he didn't know what it was about. I actually made out that I was an investor, had a lot of money, was planning to uh, transfer a lot of money into the, uh, to the bank in Egypt. And we had a free course meal, sat down, went to talk business, and I pulled out this writ from the high court of a big pink seal, and the guy almost fainted, uh, and I served it on him, uh, and I ran out of there, and I actually got chased by armed guards through the streets of Cairo. It was something out of a film. It was very hairy, actually. And their client actually wanted me to go back there the following day, and obviously I refused to do that. But as a process server, I've been attacked. I've had a baseball put put over my head. I had a gun pulled on me uh, when I was a bailiff. So that was in a formal lifetime ago. Unfortunately, now I just sit behind a desk and I, I delegate, which is uh, a lot better and a lot safer. Uh, but I'd always done landlord and tenant on behalf of landlords. So I was, I, I was obviously, as a firm of solicitors, I was, I was doing, um, going to court and getting possession orders. In 1999, like I said, I set up Landlord Action because I, my, that's my co-director, Jonathan. He was a multiple landlord. I'm a landlord now as well. He was a multiple landlord, and I evicted uh, 53 illegal immigrants from a three-bed house in in uh, North London for him. And I did it all for fixed fees, and he couldn't believe it, because previously he'd been paying solicitors something in the region of £2,000 a case. So what we devised, and we were the first company to do it, is we offer evictions for fixed fees, and we have three steps. And more importantly, we offer a free advice line for landlords. And like I said, we've done over 15,000 instructions to date, and now we're running between eight and 900 live cases all over the country for eviction. I think uh, our record number of hearings in one day, I think it was 17. In one day, in 10 different courts, we had 17 hearings all over the country, uh, of which we, had, uh, we have advocates that would do and get the possession orders. Uh, and obviously, we have solicitors that would issue all the court proceedings. But that's our main course of business. Uh, as well as, obviously, evictions, we offer, also have a debt recovery department. Uh, we have more and more people now want to chase and collect money. A lot of the time when we are doing the evictions against tenants, it's obviously very difficult to collect money against a tenant. They might abscond, they might not have any, uh, any assets or any monies that look like they could be collected. So most of the time we will say to the landlord, don't throw good money after bad. Okay? Uh, so our debt recovery services are getting business, busy, um, and we're using a lot of debt recovery services against individuals, letting agents, and I call them property sharks, that are owing investors 
people within the property industry money. Okay. Uh, I did this talk in uh, another meeting in July, uh, and since then I've, we've been totally inundated with uh, with business. Uh, not some obviously with evictions, which is our main course of business, but also to try and collect money against individuals that have been scammed on property deals.